What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and today is gonna start the very first video of getting a Miata right here back on track and uh, getting it back in shape that it should have been in a long time ago, it should have never left. Today we're gonna be cleaning a Miata and I'm gonna be installing this bad boy right here. As you can tell by the size, yeah, you probably don't know what it is, but it's gonna be a new top. I ordered a black top for this thing, so I'm gonna end up taking this off today. Oh, and by the way, we're in a garage just because it's dark outside now. I had to work earlier today, but we're gonna get things done. I have Kiara with me. Say hey, Kiara. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get things done. We're gonna start off by taking the top off, taking everything out of the vehicle, and cleaning the car up. So uh, let's get started. You ready for this? Just so y'all know, look how filthy this car is. Like all over here, the doors are like this color and whatnot. Man, yeah, it's pretty filthy. But I believe first we're gonna take the seats out to clear some more room for everything before we start cleaning and whatnot. And then I'm gonna see about taking the top off. But uh, yeah, first I'm taking the seats out. Yeah, I'm about to put you on work duty. I'm ready. You ready? I'm gonna need you to scrub and clean these seats for me. Scrub and clean the seats for me. Thank you. And your tool for the day is Mr. Sponge. Get Mr. Sponge. And you got, we're gonna use this vacuum cleaner to vacuum it. And she's gonna use some tough stuff to get all the tough stuff off the rough stuff. Sorry, right, as long as little roach come out. It'd be alright. Roach are friends, not food. Bro, is this mold in the car? I'm not sure, but I think that's mold. But oh no, I'm about to go ahead and start trying to get this top off of here. I believe all I do is start unbolting a lot of stuff in here and uh i don't know i'll figure it out but i think i just unbolt a lot of stuff find the time to open up the new top. Open, 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 open. I'm ready to see what this thing look like. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, there's a top in here. Ooh. Yeah, you know your look. My look. It'll be a bunch of stickers. There's a top of me, yeah. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, yeah. Yes. That's nice right there. Alright. It'll be very nice if I figure out how this thing go on. What is this? Is it like a cover? To cover the um the rear view? I mean the back window. It might be. Maybe for like when it's get frosty outside or something? Like when it's cold? Maybe. Help it protect it from frost. Look at you being smart. Mm -mm -mm. But this is not a how-to video because I don't even know how to. So we're going to put this on here and then we're going to start putting it back on the car so y'all see us putting it back on the car. Just so we don't waste time trying to figure out how to do this and record at the same time. But, Get to that part. 
update on the cleaning process. Seats are still out. This is the old top. As you can see, the beige looking top. And it's all in bad shape and stuff. But we got it off. And finally, Kiera's cleaning up the frame for the top. And then we're gonna end up putting this on there. But like I said, this is not a how-to video because we're trying to figure out how to. So while she's doing that, in the meantime, I'm gonna be vacuuming out the inside of here. And I actually need to see what I'm gonna do about this, uh, I think, mold situation. But I think I'm just gonna carefully clean it and then clean the rest of this. And I don't know. We'll see what happens after that. Alright, so now we're back with day two of this cold cleaning process. And we left off last night, got the whole top mounted on here. We just didn't put it back on the car because now we're about to try to clean out the inside. Basically, I thought about taking all the carpet and stuff out and pressure washing it, but it's really not in that bad of shape. It just needs to be clean. So I'm gonna keep it in here. We're gonna use the tough stuff and different other cleaning agents to help clean up the inside. But as opposed to the whole mold situation and i don't even believe this is 100 percent mold but it may be so we're going to take precautions like it is um we just sprayed it with vinegar let it sit for about an hour or so and hopefully that will help with the cleaning of it and hopefully this is all that's left of it i personally believe that it's just on the top of the uh, carpet so i don't think it's going to be that bad and whatnot but yeah we're about to start cleaning this thing up Kiera, yeah, you ready? <laughs> ready. <laughs> Kiera's plan for wiping the door card, even though I'm gonna get more of these because they have a, see a big hole right here. But she's just gonna spray the tough stuff all over, let it sit for a while, wipe it down with a watered down towel. Not like too wet, but you know, a little damp. And then come back over it with the little cleaning wipes that we have. And hopefully that will clean up all the plastics. <laughs> 